Today we're going to be taking a look at a Holy Fire Enchantress Sorceress. She has a really powerful aura, really powerful Hydras, and the Mercenary is an absolute beast. Alright, for this character, we've got Hand of Justice, Dual Dragon, and Flickering Flame. We've also got a Flame Rift Sundering Charm. On our Mercenary, we've got Infinity, Fortitude, just to beef them up a little bit. Ignore the name of the Tiara, that's the wrong name, I just edited it in Hero Editor, but it would be called Jeweler's Tiara of Speed. So 30 faster run walk, and then I put three 4015s in it. <coughs> it basically boosts his attack up a nice little bit. So let's take this over here show it in some different places i think that this could definitely play on higher players count but i think it's more so better for players one honestly i don't really think it's one of those so with my skills maxed out enchant maxed out warmth maxed out fire mastery maxed out hydra maxed out fireball and then we put as many as we could into this after we got all the other one points that we needed so our hydra had to sacrifice a little bit of damage but at the same time we're also doing a ton of damage just off our auras like i can stand here i can cast those hydras you know just to have a little bit more crowd control and then our mercenary over here is doing a lot of damage and he's a holy freeze so <coughs> we pretty much have all of our bases covered Accidents happen all the time, more than 15,000 every single day. When an accident occurs, you need to make sure you're okay, get a police report, contact your insurance, and get legal representation. Injured and don't know where to start? With Morgan & Morgan, it's so easy. You can even text your attorney during the duration of your case. With Morgan & Morgan, you can submit a claim without ever having to leave the couch. In eight clicks or less, you can submit a claim with Morgan & Morgan. If you're ever injured in an accident, you can check out Morgan & Morgan. You can submit a claim in 8 clicks or less without having to leave your couch. For more information, go to ForThePeople.com or dial Pound Law. That's Pound 529 from your cell phone. I guess technically, if we wanted to go even higher end, we could have put Phoenix on Swap, but I don't really think that's necessary. We don't really have mana problems with this character the way that it is. So, I mean, if you look at just the attack damage, 22k to 26k, which is a lot. And then the aura damage has got to be pretty decent. Like, I'll just stand here and let the aura do its thing. You're definitely not... It's not quite as powerful as the paladin with the stuff on because of the way that, like, resist fire and stuff works. But at the same time, still... Still probably the second best use of, of this gear. And you may like a sorceress more just, just for the versatility, you know, being able to play, you know, an enchantress or something. I think that there's, and there's probably some other ways that, that I could have done this instead of, instead of like this, you know, maybe I could have gone with frozen orb instead of Hydra. I could have. You know, could have mixed it up in some kind of way. And I can like hit these guys and whack... Knock them down in like two hits. Alright, there we go. That's a little bit better. So not bad, not bad on players one at all. You know, it's a niche build for sure, but it's, you know, we didn't get the best, uh, definitely didn't get the best RNG against Bale. You know, he wants to run away like a little sissy, but we handled it. Now let's go come back and do players eight. 
I'll show you the gear real quick though. And not wait to stop being sick. It's like, what am I supposed to do? Put my life on hold? Hand of Justice, Mage Fist, two FCR rings, a Rax, Marowaks. I don't know why I even had these on, I guess, because I was using this to experiment with Ubers because of the bone prison. So, I mean, this could be cool for that. Dragon, 220 source amulet. <coughs> Dragon again, and then flickering flame. CTA and Spirit on Swap. I'm just gonna mouse over the charms. Bunch of Fire Skillers, Flame Rift. Bunch of All Res 20, you know, some perfect hero editor vibes. I hear you, buddy. Here, let's show everybody the beast. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This, he looks kind of like Garfield, doesn't he? <laughs> How you doing, buddy? So, yeah, we're going, uh, Players 8, I suppose. Players 8. Let's see if it actually... Um, re okay, it did register that, even though it didn't say anything in-game. Alright, now let's just stand here. So as you can see, we're going to definitely need to use our static field a little bit more. And need to rely on our hydras a lot more. And a, a Phoenix Shield on swap might not be such a bad idea now. This is where them being a little bit tankier is gonna gonna hurt us for the simple fact. <laughs> when I see those ghosts, I'll literally just literally just cast the Hydra straight on top of them. Get them out of here. See that? Look, I'll just cast. I think that's the way to go with them. God. Gotta keep our boy alive, though. He maybe could use a different helm just for more survivability. Maybe a vamp gaze or something. I don't know. I just wanted to try to boost his physical damage up a little bit in addition to the fire damage he gets from the enchant. But... I mean, as you can see, just with the higher health pools of these enemies on Players 8, it's like our our health is getting a much bigger hit just from having to stand there longer. That's basically the only difference. I mean, it doesn't... I wouldn't say that it's slow by any means of taking these enemies out, but definitely not... This definitely isn't really like an ideal Players 8 build but it can do it. Definitely no problem, players. They just seems like you gotta, you're gonna have to spam potions and stuff more. That's really the only difference. But I mean, this should be able to do players eight, all this gear it takes. Let me know if you would change something up, if you would maybe use a different skill instead of Hydra you know I think I think something else could have possibly been better I think Hydra would have been better than Frozen Orb on players 8 though I think that's for sure I mean he takes those guys out pretty quick wow we gotta get him out of harm's way it's that poison that's screwing him up too. So I mean, as you can see, it's a little bit more of a game of keep away at this at this point, but Get over here, sir. We don't want you to die again. Been real good about that lately. <laughs> I'm just curious to see the bail kill because this is a little bit tedious right here. I definitely wouldn't do runs on players 8. I'd probably do runs players 5 tops. 
with this character. Just for the sake of like, I could get more runs done, have more efficient farming with a lower player count. And I mean, as you can see, these guys, these are just some chunky enemies right here that soak up the damage. And of course, they've got amp damage. Just don't want them to die. So, I mean, even look at this, like, this would be a prime, <laughs> a prime candidate for me to just do the bail wave skip, because that's, like, annoying and tedious. This is dumb. <laughs> like, this right here is like this yeah it's able to do players 8 but is it players 8 viable it's like how flexible are you being with the word viable because you know when you could do three players when you could do three or four players one full clears in the same time that it takes you to do one single run on players 8 you might as well be doing a lower player count because you're not being efficient at that point in my opinion, I mean, maybe I'm just an idiot. Maybe I am. Alright, it's time for the bail fight, though. I haven't been using my green screen for the past couple videos just because I've been a little under the weather and I haven't felt like setting it up. But I think in the future, what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to, um... going to really try to find creative ways to use it and not just use it just to have no background as much as I like that and the aesthetics you know maybe once I get fully over this sinus infection that I've been fighting off the past couple days you know maybe maybe I'll start going back to using it every single video but it's it's literally I need to get a better stand for it so I can set it up more conveniently but Players 8, not bad against Bale, but I mean, at the same time, I'd say this is like a Players 3, Players 5 type of build. I'd go with a regular Sorceress if you really want to do better off at this point. You know, between having like really strong Fireball, really strong Meteor, you could just do a lot more damage per second that way, in my opinion. I do think that this is really cool and unique for Players 1, though, like... Let's say I go into players one chaos real quick. Let's just take a gander. Did that? Why is it not telling me? It's not saying anything. Players count has been set to blah, blah, blah. Okay, so we're players one chaos. Let's go see how it does if we just stand in the middle of them. Jeez, not a good idea. I mean, as you can see, players won. Nothing's a problem. Everything just melts. So, I mean, obviously, this is a players one build. Players three, maybe. Maybe players five. That might be stretching it. Everybody have a great day, though. I really appreciate you watching my videos, and I'll catch you on the next one. If you're not subscribed, be sure to do so.